Good morning. Welcome to Choose Life, a ministry of pastors J.R. and Gina Coleman. I'm Pastor Roger Jolly, and I'm here with you this morning to go through Mornings with the Holy Spirit by Jennifer LeClaire for June 27th. I welcome you to this place, to my quiet place, to my porch. And I'd like to open up with a little prayer and some worship. Sweet Holy Spirit, sweet heavenly dove, be right here with us, filling us with your love. And for these blessings, we lift our hearts in praise. Without a doubt, we'll know that we have been revived when we shall leave this place. Lord, we thank you, we praise you, we magnify you and exalt your holy name. O Lamb who was slain, you are worthy to sit on the throne as King of kings and Lord of lords. Holy, holy, holy are you, Lord God Almighty, who was, who is, and who is to come. Holy, holy, holy are you, Lord God Almighty. The heavens and the earth are filled with your glory. Lord, this morning created us clean hearts. Lord, open our hearts to your word. Fill us, magnify us by the power of your Holy Spirit. Raise us up, Lord, that we may understand, that we may behold beautiful things from your teachings. We magnify you and we exalt you and we thank you, Lord. We praise you in Jesus' name. There is a sweet, sweet spirit in this place, and I know that it's the spirit of the Lord. That old hymn is so beautiful that we experience the spirit of the Lord. I have been blessed to be able to travel to various places in the world and see the Spirit of God at work. I can feel his sweet, sweet spirit. But in my travels, I also found that I can feel evil. I have been in places where people worship pagan gods, and I can feel the evil. I get goosebumps. The hairs on my arms stand up. And there's oppression. But in the presence of the Holy Spirit, there's righteousness, peace, and joy. The freedom of being in Christ. It's not only in missionaries, missionaries that we see the Holy Spirit and evil confronting each other. In our day and age, there are many people who say many things. We are bombarded by people's opinions 
and people telling us what is right and what is truth. And in listening to these people, we need to be able to discern the spirit in what is said. Is it of God? Is it the Holy Spirit? Or is it of Satan? We need to be in the word daily to understand God and what he's telling us. And when we know God, we can know what is not of God. Let me read today's devotion. It's entitled, Guard Your Heart Against Deception. Judge not lest you be judged, but those but know those who labor among you. Try the spirits to see if they are of God. Use the discernment I have given you. Sharpen your spiritual perception by being a student of the word. For many false prophets have gone out into the world seeking to deceive the hearts of men. Gaze upon Jesus and you will be quicker to recognize the false workers, the false gospels, and the false doctrines. Guard your heart and know that Jesus is coming soon. Watch and pray. We are often just too much of the mindset that if someone is speaking to us and they tell us something and they speak it with authority, that it's true. Or for some of us finding out, looking on Facebook and, and seeing something on Facebook and saying that must be true. But we are to judge all things. But we are to honor our pastors. In 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, and I want to read from verse 12. And we urge you, brethren, to recognize those who labor among you and are over you in the Lord and admonish you and to esteem them very highly in love for their work's sake. Be at peace among yourselves. And it goes down in verse 19, and it says, do not quench the spirit. Do not despise prophecies. Test all things. Hold fast to what is good. Abstain from evil, every form of evil. I've known too many Christians. They go to church on Sunday. and listen to their pastor, but never open up their Bibles. Never go through and say, what did the pastor say today? And how do I read it in the Bible? How does the Spirit speak to me in this passage and is this true? Good pastors, good preachers will tell you to check out what they say. Good pastors, good teachers want you to verify through the Holy Spirit, through the word, what they say. Everything that comes from a pulpit should be of God. 
and your pastors have special anointings to lead you. But don't be led where the Spirit says not to go. Test the Spirit. It's your job. The church stays whole. The church stays prosperous. The church stays true. When we verify the words of those who are speaking, Don't just accept things. Don't just accept them because someone said, but check them against the word of God. Test them against the spirit of God. How do you know the spirit of God unless you're in a word? How do you know? Some people say, but it's too difficult to read the Bible. You know that if you read the Bible for 15 minutes a day, you would read it cover to cover in less than a year. You know about the good Bible apps that are available that will read the word to you. And you can listen and read it along with it and begin to know the heart of God. It's in knowing the heart of God that we can discern. And in discerning, in knowing the true heart of God and the false prophets or even the misstatements of good people. God wants a relationship with you. In the scriptures, it says that when the Holy Spirit is in you, that you can learn from the Holy Spirit. He will teach you. It says, no man will teach his brother, but I will teach you. The Holy Spirit will teach you. Blessed brothers and sisters in Christ, you have a great gift in the word of God and the heart of God is in there. And people will point to many things in the scriptures and say, how can you serve a God who does this? Or how can you serve a God who does that? But our Lord Jesus Christ, in summing up the scriptures, tells us that all, what it's saying are the great commands to love the Lord your God with your whole heart, soul, mind, and strength, and to love your neighbor as yourself. It's in the word you learn how well, who God is, and you learn who you are in God, in Christ Jesus. And when you know who you are and who he is, it's much easier to love others and to respect others, even when you don't agree with them. No matter who it is, God created them, and we should always show love and respect to one another, no matter what people's opinions are. God calls us to love. But in loving people, be discerning, know the truth. Be blessed in Jesus name let me pray the finishing prayer Lord help me to guard my heart 
I don't want to be deceived by the wickedness rising up in this generation. Help me to keep my eyes firmly focused on Christ and to heed his word so that I will discern the difference between truth and error. Pray this in Jesus' name. And I pray this over you, that you will not be deceived. Have a blessed day in the Lord. Walk with him. Enjoy his many blessings. Keep safe. And love the Lord your God. Love yourself and love your neighbor. According to the scriptures. Thank you. Amen. Amen.